Hello everyone, my name is Kenny. I'm the regional sales manager of Izumi Overseas Department. Today is the annual of China Plus. Now I'm at the Izumi booth, located in 12J41 of Hall 12. Due to the effect of COVID-19, most of the customers from the overseas cannot visit China to attend the China Plus. So we have arranged the live broadcast to show Izumi's technology online. Today we have invited Mr. Mesut to introduce some system to us. Hello Mesut, how are you? I'm good, how are you doing? Yeah, I'm fine. So could you please show us some system what uh, will demonstrate by Izumi? We are here again with the with, with, uh, for the China Plus, and uh, we are having the some application, mm -hmm. which I can say the multi pro, okay. three, three color applications. We are producing the tip brush handle. Mm -hmm. Another application is the foam pack, the packaging machines. Mm -hmm. It's producing the, the with the bicycle forming process. We are reducing the weight reduction. We are doing the weight reduction with this product. And we have the FF series, our new electric injection molding machines. Okay. And we are standing next to the R500 DP machines mm -hmm. with the React Pro application. Okay. So let it come to the close. Then. So I believe uh, most of the customer they did, doesn't realize what is the React Pro. Could you explain us more information about this technology? Sure. The React Pro actually a combination of the injection molding with the polyurethane process. Okay. The purpose of the process to to get the painted and to scratch resistance part in single process. Okay. However, you know the painting process is a little bit dirty, okay. as also environmentally unfriendly process. Okay. So the industry that is why the industry created this process. We call also the emo painting according to the React Pro. So this process is not such a new process for us, but we offered our customers some advantage for sure. So with this with with this uh, technology, we can get the paint or the color. Yes. And most of the customer wants to know what is the advantage for this technology. Could you explain to us? Yeah, this technology has been in, in the te industry for a long time, but we have some smart technologies, some smart ideas for the product design. First of all, as you can see in here, in the B surface of the part. What is, the, what is this uh, product? This is polyamide material, no, the carrier. The, yeah. the and the blue area is the polyurethane material. And and the smart design means in the back side of the, pro the, the product, means the B surface of the product, we have two pockets. Okay. Normally, you know, the polyurethane is a kind of thermoset material. So when you inject it, when it gets chemical reaction, so you cannot recycle again. So if you have a cold runner for the polyurethane, you have to cut it and just scrap it. And due to the the feeling of the polyurethane, you also need an overflow pocket. So this overflow pocket, you also need to cut it and scrap it again. This material, then this part designs, give us advantage to keep gate and overflow material into the part. So you can see in here, in the bottom of the part, there is the injection point. This injection point help us to fill the the polyurethane homogeneously mm -hmm. to the top and this on the top we also have another pocket this pocket help us to fill the surface completely without any show shot or air trap mm -hmm. so these two is a smart part design we can say that for the for the customer as an advantage another advantage is the normal we have you know the polyurethane need a chemical reaction time. The chemical reaction time of the polyurethane takes longer than the injection. Okay. So that's why we designed it one plus two cavity mold 
to give more time for the polyurethane chemical reaction. So what about the PU material? As, uh, as we know, most of the customers said that uh, to us the, the raw material is very expensive because uh, now most of the material was Im import. Yeah, it's, it's a good point. I was almost going to forget to say. Actually, this time we already tried the domestic. You know, the most of manufacturer, they are using the import material for the polyurethane. But we found that there was a, uh, the domestic supplier for this material uh -huh. and the domestic supplier can provide us as much as the import material, the quality of the part also the same and the processing also the same. So there uh, are some advantages. How about the, the cost between these two materials? Sure, the domestic one was much, much cheaper than the, the import one. So that is the reason why we try the domestic material. Just now you mentioned the process. Uh, it, seems, it seems a little bit com uh, complicated to understand. So could you explain to us the production process for this, for this product? Actually, it's a little bit complicated to understand because of the polyurethane process. If you come to the closer, we call the camera to come as well. If you come closer here, I will show you when the mold is open. But we have three cavity on the mold. Okay. The, the first cavity is in the, the center point we use for the, the plastic injection molding. Okay. Then the, on the side, both sides of the plastic cavity, we have polyurethane cavity. So when the mold is open, the one cavity of the polyurethane will still keep closed by the lock system of the mold and the other cavity will open. So each cycle, the, the two cavity will be open. One cavity of the polyurethane will keep closed. When the mold is open, I will show you how it works like. Yeah, you can see this side of the polyurethane is open now, but the other side of the polyurethane keep closed by the interlock system of the mold. Robot will take the part from the center cavity and put it in the side side. Then finish part will take it by the robot. Take it away. In the next cycle, the, this side of the polyurethane mold will keep closed and the other side of the polyurethane cavity will open. What gives advantage? This will give an advantage to keep the polyurethane two cycle of the injection time into the cavity to give polyurethane longer chemical reaction time and cooling down. So it means with this technology we can greatly re uh, improve the production efficiency? Yes. So, uh, but our, our customer also want to know if, because now you are using this technology for the automobile uh, industry. So most of the customer wants to know if we can uh, use this solution for the other uh, area. Yeah, this is engine undercover. It's like interior, let's like say interior, but actually engine area part. But you zoom in React Pro is ideal to use for automotive industry house appliance or electronic product can be applied. As far as, as far as I know that some of the OEM, like automotive industry, they are using this process for interior, like, such as like dashboard, door panel parts, they are already using in the serial production right now. But it, in the future, it can be used for the exterior, instead of exterior painted part, or it can be used for house appliance product. So it means this technology will be more and more popular in the future. Yeah. Yes, yes. One more question is about the machine. It looks like it's much longer than the standard machine. Yes. Is there any difference? Yes, sure. The normal injection is as long enough, as long to until here. But from here to the end on the corner, we are keeping the polyurethane system inside. Okay. So we can provide the customer fully combined, fully full combined with the with the polyurethane system and injection system. In here, we have polyurethane material and tank. As you know, the polyurethane two material, material A and B, 
they combine it together. They mix, they, 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 this material has a bridge contact to the mold cavity. In the mold cavity, we have a polyurethane mixing hat. This mixing hat mix the polyurethane material A and B and inject the material. So uh, this page is showing the process for, for the PU material. PU material, you have to keep under the some, some condition. You need to keep always warm and always mix it, both material. Otherwise, get frozen, so you, you will be not able to use anymore and scrap the material. So this system shows that the, the, the temperature of the material so and our condition. The yeah, so yeah. The yes. So for A material and B material. Yes. And they will transfer, the they will transfer to the mixing hat here. Okay. There's several advantage. If you change the mixing hat, you can also change the color of the material. So I mean, it's like one side of the cavity, you can use the blue color. Another side of the cavity, you can change the color like red color. So it's like, or each cycle, you can change the colors. Like it is optional. If you change the color of the, if you put another additional tongue inside the cell, so you can change the color very easily and quickly every cycle. This is also one of the advantage for this process. Okay. Uh, by the way, as I saw, there was several kind of uh, engine cover yeah. in the show tank. Yeah. So some of it are with the special the special surface. If it, are they produced by the same technology? As I say, this this mold engine undercover part we use for the several process actually before. In 2018, we use for this process for the foam uh, foam pro. And what is the foam pro? And the pro and the, the what's the purpose for that? Foam pro is the bicycle forming process to get weight reduction. It's like we call muscle also. Okay. So we, we, we make apply the bicycle forming process together with injection. We get the weight reduction on the part. Okay. The De deco pro is a decorative product to to have it. So so as you can see here, if the camera shows there. So we have here, you can see the two decorative product. One with the aluminum sheet, another one is the, the pure leather. The aluminum one is with the muscle process. So this like decorative product with the muscle process together. So it means the, that one the, with the aluminum one? Yes. The way the will be less than the standard one? Yes. Normally this part weight, it will be less than 7%, let's say 5 to 10% with the process. But we are working and it's under development right now mm -hmm. that we are trying to work with the smart clamping system on the machine. So we can, we can, we can reduce the, the part weight okay. by extending the thickness of the product. We call decompression this process. Mm -hmm. So by doing the decompression, we can increase the part thickness by increasing the thickness, we can get weight reduction much more than. And the uh, second question is about, as I saw, one the left side is the with the aluminum, yeah, and the right side is in some some kind of the, the, the PU leather, like the PU or like the yeah. the wooden. Yes. So if there's some customer want to change the another material or another color, is of, it possible to do that? Of course, this mold we are using as a sample. Right, this we show in the, the engine cover, but this part can be interior of the automotive part and decorative, okay. like a surface can be like a wooden surface, mm -hmm. so you can use it interior or you, you can use it like exterior product mm -hmm. with the, the surface with the decorative leather or decorative, some like aluminum sheet. It can be used also, yeah. The, the last question is about the I saw in the yeah. deck corner, yeah. it seems the, the surface is different with the, what you produce now. They are brothers of the polyurethane material. Okay. So actually we have already tried several different polyurethane material mm -hmm. for, for this, this mold. Okay. This, this polyurethane can be scratch resistance okay. and uh, the shiny surface okay. or can be matte surface. Also, it can be soft touch, okay. or what we call when you scratch it, 
something like the self repair. Yes, self repair can be also self repair. Right now we are trying the self repair material. So when you scratch it, after a few minutes later, it will repair by himself. That scratch that you will be not seen anymore. Okay. But we are also under development to to make a PU like a sponge, like a soft touch. Okay. That will be in under development in the future also. Okay. I think that's all for we can say for the polyurethane, right? Yeah, I think so. Okay, thank you for your information. Thank you. Hello, everyone. Today we have introduced the Reapport ap application, and tomorrow we will show you the multipore application. We are using the free color machine to produce the two brass handle. Thank you for your watching.